Legacy automakers are on an EV marketing blitz. As competition grows, February 5, 2023, General Motors has announced that it will partner with Netflix to have its EV offerings displayed in shows on the streaming platform. But they are far from the only automaker looking to show off its upcoming EVs. GM is no stranger to marketing its EVs in fun and strange ways. Since its Super Bowl ad about EVs in Norway stole the show back in 2021, the company has been dedicated to making marketing partnerships and creative ads that it hopes will bring new demand. Now, the auto giant has doubled down, partnering with Netflix to show off its new EVs. EVs on screen was created to give EVs the stage they deserve, says the GM press release. This will include appearances on the Love is Blind, Queer Eye, and unstable Netflix series that have each garnered significant attention. Vehicles like the Cadillac Lyric, the Chevy Bolt, and the GMC Hummer EV are all expected to make appearances where appropriate, says Netflix. While no financial details about the Netflix deal were made public, there is no doubt that GM made a big bet on putting its vehicles in front of the eyes of consumers. Yet, with similar focuses on EV marketing coming from around the industry, the deal certainly isn't without precedent. Other automakers are making similar moves in advertising EVs, even vehicles that have yet to hit the road. Mid last year, BMW unveiled its EV commercial series featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger, whereby the famed bodybuilder dressed as the Greek god, Zeus, showing off the German brand's newest electric models, Nissan, whose ads have often focused on the automaker's participation in Formula E has also recently launched its EV ad series. EVs that electrify, while more subdued than the offerings from BMW and the General. It still shows a dedication to guiding consumers to the future of mobility. This leads to the question, why such a focus on EV marketing, particularly when the marketing focuses on vehicles that are not yet available? For GM, the answer was simple. It's a chance for exposure and to build the public's understanding of EVs. Entertainment has a huge impact on culture. We want to make EVs famous on streaming. Small and silver screens to build an EV culture through storytelling that incorporates the experiences of driving and owning an EV, said GM Global Chief Marketing Officer Deborah Wall. In complete opposition, Tesla has remained starkly outside of the traditional marketing sphere, instead opting for what supporters call a higher dedication to vehicle engineering or what critics call a higher dedication to Elon Musk's Twitter account. Though Tesla's success, particularly in the North American market, does seem to speak for itself. It's unclear if this new EV marketing push will garner the attention that legacy brands are searching for. But at the very least, the hunger for electric vehicles does seem to be building, but with an increasing number of competitive electric vehicles entering the market this year. There is no doubt that the effect of these ads will become obvious fairly quickly. Source. Reposted and summarized from William Johnson at teslart.com. My take. Every dollar spent on advertising e versus just leads to more Tesla sales. Tesla's energy needs in Mexico may be met by new solar energy project. February 5, 2023, the proposed Tesla production facility in Mexico has run into hurdles regarding inadequate power production in its potential location. But a new massive solar project may help alleviate these concerns. Tesla is attempting to establish a new production location in Mexico to help it rapidly grow vehicle production in the coming year s. However, concern about the factory's power needs overwhelming the local grid has proved to be a significant hurdle. But with a massive new solar power project currently under construction in northern Mexico, the automaker's energy concerns may be addressed. The massive solar power project in Baja, California, Mexico, dubbed Project Sonora after the desert it is located within could answer Tesla's concerns. Initially reported by Reuters, the solar project is estimated to cost $1.6 billion and, when completed, will be the largest solar project ever established in Latin America. However, without funding wholly secured for the project, it remains unclear how much power it will be able to produce. Currently, roughly 10% of the solar panels have been mounted, though none have been hooked to the grid. The project was displayed late last week to national leaders and potential investors. The Mexican president heralded the project as the country's key to a renewable future. With such a massive solar project, residents would benefit from reduced energy costs, and the surrounding grid could easily benefit from increased stability, which is exactly what Tesla is looking for.
As pointed out by the Reuters report, Mexico is often cited as one of the ideal locations for solar power implementation. The country's northern section has massive tracts of unpopulated desert, consistent sunlight thanks to its proximity to the equator, and low amounts of cloud cover that could limit the effectiveness of solar panels. Nonetheless, the Mexican government has had trouble embracing the technology, especially as crime and security concerns persist around the US-Mexico border. Hopefully, through the continued growth of solar projects in Mexico, Tesla and other automakers can increase their presence in the country, along with bringing jobs and investment to underdeveloped locations in the country. It could also result at least in this case in more EVs for North America and up-and-coming Latin American markets. Source. Reposted and summarized from William Johnson at teslart.com. My take. Solar is finally getting a good foothold in the energy sector and will become even more important in the near future. Tesla Model 3 Project Highland. Out testing under wraps. February 5, 2023. We've known about Tesla's mysterious project Highland for some time now, though we recently learned that the EV maker has been working on it for longer than most people thought. It's supposed to be a refreshed Model 3 project, even though Tesla doesn't officially refresh its vehicles. Now, we have more recent photos of the new Model 3, and Tesla is hiding something. Tesla has grand plans to bring the Cybertruck to market this year, which stands to make a very big splash, not only in the EV space, but in the global automotive business as a whole. This is because the Cybertruck is arguably the biggest departure from the norm the automotive world has seen in years. If not, ever. That said, while Tesla claims the Cybertruck is ridiculously popular and may have as many as 2 million pre-orders for the crazy electric pickup truck, the Tesla Model 3 is arguably more of an EV for the masses. So while folks are out scrambling to secure images and footage of the upcoming Cybertruck, we certainly can't forget about the Model 3. Tesla first brought the Model 3 to market back in 2017. So it's due for a refresh or redesign. However, not long after the larger Model Y came to market, which rides on the same platform as the Model 3, Tesla updated the sedan with new technology and design cues to match its crossover twin. So what does Tesla have up its sleeve related to the upcoming Project Highland Model 3? The kilowatts were able to get several spy shots of what appears to be an updated Model 3. The refreshed Model 3 is expected to arrive in the second half of 2023 which is in line with the timing for the Tesla Cybertruck's launch. However, it likely would NT make sense for Tesla to bring the two EVs to market around the same time. Does this suggest the Project Highland Model 3 is coming sooner? Or will we have to wait even longer? There are still so many questions. If Tesla is simply planning to begin casting the Model 3 with its Giga Press machines like it does the Model Y and or switching to the structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells. It would NT need to conceal so much. Clearly, there are obvious visual updates, as Tesla is keeping them under wraps. According to Electrek, there's an expectation that the front end of the updated Model 3 will have a notable facelift. Meanwhile, the publication also claims that while a design refresh is expected, most of the improvements may be at the body level and not necessarily visible. So, again, why the camo? The other update expected for the refreshed Model 3 is Tesla's Hardware 4 suite, which is supposed to debut with the Cybertruck. If this is true, the new Model 3 won't come until after the electric pickup. Perhaps Tesla aims to provide more concrete details during its upcoming Investor Day event. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at InsideEVS.com. My take. I can't wait to see what improvements they have made on the Model 3. Tesla Cybertruck's bed capacity shown in recent spy shots. February 5, 2023. The Tesla Cybertruck is set to come to market soon. But we still don't have official details from Tesla about the final design or the price. There was talk about making the production electric truck a bit smaller than what was revealed years ago. But it seemed Tesla may have decided against that. Now, spy shots reveal off-road tires in the Cybertruck's bed, which may help people size it up while most people who fell in love with the Cybertruck were likely shocked by its wild design. The potential specs were also quite impressive. Since the electric pickup truck was first unveiled, a few capable electric trucks came to market, including the Ford F-150 Lightning, GMC Hummer EV and Rivian R1T.
Now that Tesla has some competition that's not just on paper, it would arguably be very important for it to deliver on capabilities and price. The average EV owner may not care to a huge extent how much the Cybertruck can tow, or the exact figures regarding its payload capacity and cargo volume. However, if the truck is smaller or less capable than they'd imagined in any way, they might be taken aback, especially if Tesla also significantly increases the behemoth's price. Thankfully, while Elon Musk and the folks at Tesla are dragging their feet and not providing answers, folks in the Tesla community have been seeking out Cybertruck prototypes and snapping images and videos to share on social media. The spy shots have answered some questions. Though Musk says Tesla is still making small tweaks. So don't hold your breath. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at InsideEVS.com. My take. Every day, the Cybertruck gets closer and closer to starting production.